Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, sir, first I want to commence by offering my heartfelt condolences to Her Majesty the Queen, the Prince of Wales, and the entire royal family on what must be an immense personal loss for them. I hope that they can take some comfort in knowing that their mourning is shared by millions of people across this country, billions across the Commonwealth and the globe. Seneca the Elder said that life, if well lived, is long enough. Nobody can be in any doubt that not only was the life of the Duke of Edinburgh long, it was a life well lived, with a vast range of accomplishments in so many fields. After a difficult and often traumatic childhood, His Royal Highness spent his entire life in the devoted service of this country. During World War II, he served with distinction in the Mediterranean and the Pacific fleets. He was present for the surrender of the Japanese Empire, and he was mentioned in dispatches for service at Cape Matapan. He married the Queen in 1947, and subsequently he gave her 73 years of absolute loyalty, support, devotion and love. A tireless campaigner for conservation and environmental causes, in this he truly was a visionary and years ahead of the rest of society. It has already been mentioned that a lasting legacy which the Duke of Edinburgh leaves is the award scheme which bears his name. I participated in that scheme and actually, like the member from North Down, I got my bronze, I got my silver, but alas, I wasn't able to finish the, the gold element of the scheme. But the Duke of Edinburgh Award Scheme is a magnificent legacy that he will leave. Prince Philip was of the greatest generation in this country's history, the generation that defeated Hitlerism and fascism. And I believe firmly that he would have succeeded in any walk of life. He more than succeeded in the path that he decided to walk in this life. He has gone to his reward. Matthew 25, verse 21 says, His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee rule over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. God bless those who mourn. God save the Queen.